To get started with Vapor, the first thing you need to do is create an account. So let's do that. Let's click on sign up now. I'm going to put my name, my email, and I'm going to set up a password. Let's click on register. Once you create your Vapor account, you get automatically assigned it to the personal team. Projects, networks, databases, caches, domains are always associated with a specific team. Of course, you can always create multiple teams if you want to, as teams are a great way to organize your projects by client or topic. There is no additional charge on creating teams. Also part of creating an account in Vapor is set up the payment information. So let's do that. Let's click on my own name, my profile, billing tab, and let's set up the payment information. I don't need to do this myself because I'm part of the Vapor team. Next, you can get back into the dashboard and finally connect an AWS account to my personal team. We can do that by clicking on Team Settings, AWS Accounts and add the new AWS account. First is asking us for the account name. I'm going to call this account name Personal. Then we need to grab the access key ID but also the secret access key from AWS console. So let's go to the AWS console to grab those. First you need to click on, my, on your own name, then my security credentials, and then you're going to click on access keys. And let's create a new access key. Once created, you can click on show access key and you get access to the access key ID and also the secret access key. Let's copy those and put them into Vapor. Once you copy paste them, you can click on add. You get back to the dashboard and you can see that now you are finally ready to create your first project in Vapor.